Take a deep breath in. As you breathe in, breathe in a resourceful feeling of relaxation. And as you exhale, that's it. Just relax all of the muscles around your eyes. And with your eyes closed, you can pay more attention to the sound of my voice. That's right. As you breathe in and breathe out, notice how good it feels to let go of that tension, enabling you to release the tension around your neck and your shoulders, to slow down your breathing, and to enter a state of calm and tranquility. That's right. As you continue to really connect with that slow breath, you can allow more and more of that tension to leave your body. Taking you deeper and deeper relaxed. Feeling more and more of that tension leave your body. I want you to use the power of your imagination to imagine a tennis court. And I want you to see a 10 year old girl on that tennis court. She's enthusiastic. She wants to learn how to play tennis. And I want you to see someone quite anxious looking, trying to talk her out of playing tennis. Notice that the girl seems conflicted. She really wants to learn tennis, but also accepts. She doesn't quite know how to do it yet. She doesn't know how good a tennis player she will be. She doesn't know if she has the skills. She knows she isn't as good as the other children. And there's a part of her that really feels that this is outside of her comfort zone. I want you to get a sense that That young girl decided not to listen to that voice and to just play tennis anyway. And while she wasn't perfect at tennis, the more she did it, the better she got. She learned from her mistakes and the more she practiced, her competency grew. I want you to get a sense that there's a part of everyone that has self-doubt. A voice that is well-intentioned to try and keep you safe. But in the end, just creates the illusion of fear and the possibility of hesitation and avoidance rather than courage and momentum. I want you to see that that girl played more and more tennis. She didn't win every game, but she didn't have to. I want you to get a sense that there was a point where playing tennis was outside of her comfort zone. And she chose to do it anyway. And I want you to take inspiration from that little girl. In fact, everything that you've learned was once something that you didn't know how to do. 
it would be bizarre to never learn how to walk because you may fall over. And in life you have fallen over many times. You just don't stay down. You get back up again. And I want you to tap into that feeling of resilience where you know that even when things don't go to plan, you have the ability to pick yourself back up, to learn from that moment, and to go forward, wiser than the version of you that fell. If your unconscious mind is willing to accept, then you don't have to have all the answers, and you don't have to have all of the confidence or competency to simply start doing something outside of your comfort zone. Let me know by nodding your head. The definition of a comfort zone is that going outside of it will be uncomfortable. And you won't be able to cope with everything that happens outside the comfort zone, but you're not meant to. Not coping is nothing to be afraid of. In the same way that back then, seeing that small girl playing tennis, there wasn't a condition that she can only play tennis if she wins every game. Win or lose, she benefited from playing. I want you to think back over your life and ask yourself the question, who really are you? Think of your personality, the kind of things that you've done. And I want you to create a belief system as to who you are in the most empowering, encouraging an inspiring way possible. And as you think of yourself in that way, you become more and more inspired to tap into you at your core and to pursue the things you've always wanted to pursue. You are braver than you realize. You're more confident than you realize. You have deep down a desire to leave the comfort zone, to enjoy new experiences, to have more adventure. And as you tap into that part of you, notice that it feels exciting. I want you to imagine that throughout your life, sometimes experiences and words have taken their toll on your emotions. And I want you to imagine that you're now surrounded by a force field. Meaning that you only experience 10% of what's happening around you. Think of this force field as almost like tanning lotion. The sun still hits your skin, but a certain percentage of the harmful ultraviolet rays are kept out. And imagine you've got this force field so that you can still 
hear words and see experiences, but only 10% of the emotion is what you end up feeling. And I want you to go back in time to a moment where you felt really hurt by something that someone said. But this time hear the same words coming through this force field. And notice that with this force field around you, you can still acknowledge the meaning of their words. It just doesn't have the same emotional impact on you anymore. You might feel a twinge. A sensation of regret perhaps or understanding for their situation but it doesn't hurt. It doesn't create a feeling of intensity that it used to. And this force field is there to protect you so that you can pursue what you want to pursue and not be guilt-tripped or coerced into doing things that you don't truly want to do. If your unconscious mind is happy to intuitively activate this force field whenever it's necessary, let me know by nodding your head. I now want you to think about your future. I want you to see yourself like you're someone else still with this force field around you. But that version of you starting a new chapter in their life. A chapter where they let go of the excuses, the stories they've been telling themselves as to why they can't do what they've always wanted to do. You know the stories. Too busy right now. Got too many things to do. I don't deserve it. I wouldn't be able to cope. But this version of you doesn't have any of those stories. They've let them go. And I want you to see that version of you doing things that you would consider adventurous. I want you to bring your mind to a time in your life where you felt courageous and adventurous. Notice how good it felt to feel that courage, to feel that sense of adventure, to do something that was outside of your comfort zone and you did it anyway, and feel that feeling and see that feeling in the version of you that you're watching, doing these things, these adventurous, exciting things that you've wanted to do and now you see your future self doing them. This version of you, you see you as even more courageous and adventurous. See yourself taking risks, stepping out of your comfort zone, and see yourself experiencing new things. As you continue to relax, imagine yourself now back in the present, going about your day, connecting and embodying this sense of courage and adventure. And notice how you approach challenges with a new perspective and how you are open to new experiences. I want you to imagine you're about to book perhaps a flight. Maybe you have booked the flights and you're planning it. And I want you to imagine that voice in your head that's been talking you out of these things as if there were a real human in front of you. I want you to hear them as they try and talk you out of it. Asking if you're ready. You can hear the tonality of their voice. 
a presupposition that you won't be able to cope. You won't be able to handle this. Are you sure you're going to be okay? And then tap into that feeling of courage and adventure and hear your reply almost like the roar of a lion. I'll be fine. And feel that it's true. Know that it's true. You will be fine. See this voice like it's a real person in front of you, desperately trying to talk you out of it. Telling you you've got so many other things to do. This isn't a priority right now. You won't be able to manage. And feel yourself smiling. There's been times in your life that people have tried to talk about, talk you out of things and they were just, it was impossible to do. You were resolute, determined and feel that resolution, feel that determination, feel that courage and adventure deep in you. And the more they try and talk you out of it, the more determined you are to pursue it. To prove them wrong and to prove anyone else wrong that doesn't think you've got the courage to actually do this. And notice that they can read it on your face when that resolution is there. The certainty is there that you'll be fine. They know there's no point in even trying to convince you otherwise. From this point forward, fear is no longer a valid reason to hold you back. It's just a story. Like a small child's monster in the cupboard. It's only real if you never go out there and check. And I'm wondering how many of those fears are just monsters in the cupboard that were never real at all. You just didn't open the door to check. Again, observe that future version of you. Living the life that you want, doing what you really want, doing what you deserve to do. And notice that that version of you gets more and more confident, more and more courageous. And then when they return to their normal life, notice how little everyday things phase them. How could they be phased by the little things when they've gone out there and done the bigger things? And if this version of you is an appealing version of you, a version of you that aligns with who you are at your core and what you truly desire to do, let me know by nodding your head. All the limitations that have been blocking you are no longer there. The only thing stopping you are the untrue stories you've been telling yourself. And as you reject those stories... I want you to tap into a sense of excitement at all the possibilities that lay in front. It's time to leave this place, return to the present, but still connecting with those feelings of courage and adventure, a fierce determination to live the life that you deserve and can pursue just because you want to. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Just wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Get a sense that all parts of you are back in the present. Only the part that for a while now has been full of doom and gloom. 
they will be a bit more encouraging, a bit more supportive, and will help you pursue the things that you've always wanted to. I will count from one to ten to awaken you. You will awaken with a new sense of courage and adventure, but also with an intuitive force field that means that you will be less affected by certain emotions, words or feelings of the people around you, giving you a new sense of resilience and a new desire to turn that page and to start this exciting new chapter in your life, starting to count to awaken you. One, two, three, waking up. Four, five, six, more alert. Seven, eight, open your eyes, open your eyes. Nine, ten, wide awake, wide awake, wide awake.